What is up, heroes? This is Minite Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, we got the K ending, which honestly was pretty incredible. I enjoyed it a lot. We got a whole bunch of information, and really some curveballs that have me guessing quite a bit about what could be coming our way. However, we only have a couple ways we could proceed at this point, right? I think we're going to go to the director's office. We got the username, but I don't think we have the password yet. I do want to play it safe though, and just give it a go to make sure I don't miss out on this. But if this doesn't work, then instead we're going to have to do something else. But anyways, here we are. Flashing back across all the different timelines. So the ID is... Wait, they actually expect me to remember it? They're not going <laughs> to... It's not some file? No? I don't think so. Yikes. Yeah, I don't think... Hmm. Alright, well that's a little problematic, isn't it? Either way, we need to know a nine-digit password. So then this is that sort of to be continued. Yeah, I feel like it would have flashed and shown us both the username and password. I don't think it would have expected us to have remembered a nine digit password, um, which I certainly don't remember off the top of my head. But okay, so I guess that really leaves us with only one option, right? We need more Excelivir in this timeline. The question is, what do we do in this timeline in the first place? So we initially chose to go through the cyan door and went in the crew quarters. Okay, and then after that, we went to the first AB game. Once we were in that AB game, we chose to ally. And then we went to the garden. Okay, so this is one of the very first timelines. I think actually the first timeline we, um, we went through. Interesting. All right, let's, uh, let's hop into it. I think we found one of the vials of Excelivir on Quark. And then we were going to look for another one for Alice. Oh, that's right. This is this is the image I tried to use for a thumbnail, but YouTube repeatedly pulled down for sexual content, which I found pretty ridiculous compared to a lot of the other things I see on YouTube. But regardless, actually, we've already heard this before, right? Ah, I see. So it's going to be a matter of, we probably need to get the antibodies in addition to, yeah, there we go. We need to copy the immunoglobulins, the antibodies, to the disease, or to the virus, in addition to using the Excelivir virus itself. So just to be 100% on the same page, the log is showing that just prior to this we were saying, um, <laughs> Sigma goes, we're going to save them both. How? That's, um, I need to calm down and think. There had to be some way to save both of them. If it was there, I knew it. And then, here we are. Ig equals immunoglobulin. Do you know, do you know what immunoglobulin is? It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical 6. Ig replicator. Replicator makes it sound like it makes copies of stuff. Yeah, I, f I figured this is why this was left in that area. This is in, what, the laboratory? So it's like a copy machine. Yeah. Probably copies IG, whatever that is. Any ideas? Who knows? <laughs> Ice cream by the gallon? There we have it. That's it. I've got it. The IG replicator in the laboratory. It's an immunoglobulin replication machine. Uh, what? It can copy immunoglobulin. Antibodies. Luna just said Excelivir is made from antibodies. That means we can make more Excelivir. Interesting. So Excelivir is 
an antibody itself? Huh. Do we know that? Did Luna really say that? Or is it that some people make antibodies to it? Hmm. I'm not sold immediately. Typically, antibody medications are named quite a bit differently, but that's alright. Hold on a moment. There is a strange device in the laboratory that says IG Replicator on it. Clover and I examined it thoroughly when we were in that room. Yeah. We never could figure out what it did, though. Exactly. My question is, how do you know about it, Sigma? I saw it. When I was in the laboratory. When was that? Um... Probably when you went looking for Alice, right? No. Dio was wrong. I hadn't gone to the laboratory when I was looking for Alice. I didn't think I'd ever been to the laboratory. So how did I know about the IG replicator? If what he's saying is true, then we should be able to duplicate the Accelivir. That would mean we could cure Alice and Quark, and you could make even more copies if you have the time, which I think you do, actually. Hmm. Let's go have a look, then. The laboratory, right? Yeah. No time to waste. We all nodded. Wait. We can't leave them here all alone. Luna, do you think you could stay behind and look after them? Oh, of course. I'd be happy to. Alright then, let's go. Alright, so they're off to the laboratory. Sigma has some explaining to do. Granted, people might have just bought Dio's explanation and Sigma didn't exactly object to it, so... Might be enough for most people. But maybe not for Phi. She's the type to really, you know, dive into it. Almost there. I'm kind of curious why so much emphasis is put on the transitions showing every step of the way with the map and all that, right? Do people really remember the map that well? And does it ever play that important a role? I mean, we just talked about how K went around the long way while other people went the short way. Do people really remember or analyze the map in such a way? Right? And even if you did know that that was a possibility, you could only do so once you presume that K had already has the ability to go out of his armor, right? So, huh, I just wonder. Anyway, so this is the lab, huh? Yes. Where's this IG replicator thing? Right here. See? So this can copy the Accelivir? I think so. What are we waiting for? Calm down, alright? Don't rush me. I carefully lower the small vial of Accelivir into the slot on this side of the machine. An empty vial already protruded from the other side. Presumably, that was where the duplicated Accelivir would go. Ready? When I push this button, it should... Skip it. Just press the darn thing. Right. And pressed. Moment of truth. Did it work? Have a look. The empty vial has something in it now. And the vial Sigma used remains as it was. 
It does not seem to have lost any of its contents. So, it worked? Would have been pretty bad if it hadn't. Alright, let's get this thing back to the infirmary. I reached down and pulled both vials from the machine, intending to slip them deftly into my pocket. Ah, crap. What happened? Sorry. My hand slipped. You dropped one of them? Yeah. Just one, though. What in the heck? What if you'd broken it, you idiot? Come on. If it broken, then we could have just made another copy. Before Temyoji could reply, Fi spoke. Uh, guys? I was surprised to hear her voice coming from near my feet. I looked down to see her staring intently at something beneath the table. You see? It did break. No, the vial's fine. See? She held it up in one hand, but didn't move her eyes. Then what the heck is going on down there? Take a look. Are they going to find a whole bunch of vials underneath the table or something? She slid back from the table quickly and silently. The rest of us bent down to look. Ah. There's the bomb. A b bomb? Whoa, really? That makes two then. Guess Kay was right after all. So there were more bombs. So it would seem. Was this here when you guys came through the first time? No, it was not. Or rather, I mean, did you really check under the table the first time you were here, guys? Yeah, I didn't see anything, and I looked real hard. Then somebody must have said it while we were looking for Alice. Who the heck would do that? We were all out looking for Alice. It could have been any of us. No, not any of us. I was back in the infirmary. Quark was still out, so I was keeping an eye on him. So we shouldn't consider you a suspect. Is that right? Yeah, Quark's off the list too. But Temyoji, you have no proof that you spent the entire time in the infirmary, do you? What? You could have quietly made your way to the laboratory, planted the bomb. That's insane! Listen to yourself. There's no way in heck I'd have left Quark all by himself to go plant a darn bomb. Temyoji was still staring furiously at Kay when Clover spoke up. Hey, what's this thing? I turned in time to see her grab something from under the table. It looks like a memory card. Interesting, what's contained on this? Where was it? Um, right under the bomb. It was down on the floor under the table. Could it have been put here by the same person who set the bomb? There was nothing like it here when we examined this room. Do you think they dropped it accidentally? I know, that's really the question I have at the moment. Unless it was left here intentionally, yes, I imagine so. Really, you mean something was either placed intentionally or accidentally, right? Um, hmm. I wonder. I mean, uh, all of it will become more clear once we find out whatever information is there, right? It's either we're getting a sneak peek of something that was accidentally left behind, or we're finally getting information that was intentionally left behind to reward us for finding the bomb. What do you think's on it? 
Let's take a look. Can I see it for a minute? Yeah, I guess so. I plucked the card out of her hand and looked around the room. Nothing. I think we have to go back to the infirmary, right? Shoot. No dice. We'll need to plug it into something that can read memory cards, but I don't see anything here. So, what do we do? Come on, if I knew, I'd be doing it. Nice. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. And we don't know how long it's going to take for people to recover once they get the Accelivir, right? Uh, guys, I think maybe we should get back to the top floor. Yeah, you're right. We've got what we came here for. Um... What should we do about the, uh, bomb? Not much we can do except leave it here. Alice said it'd be dangerous to touch this. True, but... Drop it. We can talk about the bombs later. Right now, we need to take care of Alice and Quark. Right. So we'll go back to the infirmary, give them the Accelivir, then head to the Floor A warehouse. Right. Though, to be honest, I, I feel like they are rushing it to an extent. This ought to do it. I think the, the best strategy here is actually to give one of the bottles of Accelivir to one of them, make sure it works once you confirm that it works. Granted, both of them are currently stable while sedated, right? You give the Accelivir to one of them, make sure it works, and then once it's confirmed to be working, you go copy it again and then use a vial. So you still have a vial on hand, right? Given that two of them have now had the experience of Radical 6 infection, they were infected at some point. They must consider that all of them could have been exposed to and possibly infected with or with um, Radical 6 themselves. So having some copies of the antidote of the Accelivir around is really important. But if they use both of the vials now, they're not going to have that opportunity in the future. It might take a little while, but they should recover. And yeah, and so the idea is if it's going to take a while for them to recover, right? Long enough that they're not going to be able to participate in this AP game. But then there's no harm in waiting until afterwards, so long as they're sedated, right? There is a chance that they wake up during the AB game and end up harming themselves, right? But I would take that risk in this situation because giving them the Accelivir now before the AB game, before that time period where they won't be able to tend to them, means that they won't be able to give Accelivir to anybody else who potentially gets the virus later on. Her voice was quiet as she backed away from Alice and Quark. In her hand was the injection gun. She carefully removed the empty vial and placed it gently in the cabinet with the other one. While we were in the laboratory, Luna had moved Quark to a crude cot. They both looked peaceful as they slept. The madness I'd seen on their faces before was completely gone. Are they really going to be alright? Yes. The analysis I did on the vials confirmed that the duplicate was real Accelivir. The original was genuine too, of course. Now that they've been treated, it's only a matter of time before the virus is eliminated. I believe so, yes. Oh man, what a relief. I was really worried. Clover grinned. Agreed. I gave her a reassuring pat on the back. Alright, we've only got five minutes left. 
Alright, everybody. We can be relieved later. Right now, we need to get to the AB rooms. And fast. Darn. Don't even have time to catch our breath. Come on, let's go. The Floor A warehouse is waiting. The Floor A warehouse. Wow, this early in the game. Well, I guess it feels really early. It is technically late, though. We've already been through two chromatic doors, haven't we? Who are our opponent? Opponents, rather. Huh? Where's Temyoji? Ah, Temyoji that that I'm just in no Oh, he stayed back in the infirmary. What? What? Why? Well, when we were all heading out, I noticed he wasn't doing anything. So I asked him if he was coming with us. And this was what I got. I'm still worried about Quark and Alice. I think I'll stick around and make sure they're okay. Not unreasonable. I see. That means that Fai's only opponent will be Dio. Lovely. Dio's true colors. On the line. One on one, huh? It's cool. Nothing to worry about. I plan to choose ally. You know why? Because I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you chose ally and I betrayed you, your BP would drop below zero, and, well, we know what happens then. I want to win, but I'm not that desperate. No, you absolutely are, Dio. Easily the most cutthroat here. See what I'm saying, right? Temyoji and Dio are a pair. Temyoji only had one BP left. Ooh, that's a really precarious situation for Phi. Right? If Phi is only at one BP and she picks ally, or if she picks betray while Dio picks ally, I, which is a pretty safe move given how untrustworthy Dio is, she could potentially kill Temyoji in the process. But if she chooses ally, Dio certainly won't think twice about killing Fai. Since Dio said he's going to pick ally, Fai can't really pick anything else. If she does, Temyoji will, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a 50-50 chance, right, that somebody dies here. Yikes. I don't like those odds. K and I are going to be going one-on-one, -on -one too, right? Since Quark's still sleeping. That is correct. How many BP do you guys have? I've got six. As do I. Ooh. This will be a tough one then. If one of them can get the other ally and then betray that person, the betrayer will have nine points. Look, Kay, I know you don't really have any reason to trust me, but... I know. You would like us both to vote ally, yes? Yeah. I agree. If we were to both betray, then we would gain no points. 
We would lose nothing either, but that's hardly relevant. If both of us cooperate, then we will both gain two points, which is much more beneficial. Right. Okay, good. You're really gonna do it, right? Yes. Promise? Promise. We know both of them eat their words so frequently, this means nothing to me. One minute remains. Crap, this is bad. We need to move, now. Indeed. Shall we? D.O.K., Fi, and Clover all took off immediately, heading into different A.B. rooms. Counting from the left, Dio went into room 3, K went into room 4, and Fi and Clover went into rooms 5 and 6, respectively. Is that meaningful? That left Luna and myself. What do you think about taking the one on the far left? Hi. Sounds good. Aw, Luna's so precious. We haven't spent much time with Luna at all lately, have we? With that settled, we headed to AB room number one. Alright, let's start the Ambidex game. Only got 30 seconds. Um, it's probably a little late to say this, but... You know Alice is still in the infirmary. So... You're saying we should pick Ally, right? Since Alice is going to default to that anyway. Yes. I know. It's not really fair to betray somebody who isn't voting. I mean, it's not fair, but it doesn't, doesn't mean it's an unreasonable choice sometimes. Luna's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. I grinned back at her before I knew what I was doing. For a minute, the nonary game didn't seem so scary. Oh, that's precious. Ten seconds remain until I'm next game. I don't remember how many points Alice has. I mean, you guys know me. It's not going to be a surprise. In this setting where I have a guaranteed ally from Alice, I'm going to click ally myself. The only downside is if somebody else gets to 9 points and we're not one of them, right? But I don't even remember how many points we have, let alone how many Alice has. So, we'll see. So let's take a look and see what these results are. Luna and I stepped out of the AV room. Alright, let's go have a look at the results. The other pairings are going to be really interesting. Here we go. Betray, 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 betray. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Are you kidding me right now? How did that happen? So we've got a lot going on right now. Um, let's take a second, because there's quite a bit of shock going on. First of all, Kay and Clover both chose to betray after both saying they would pick ally. Shocker. Dio and Fi both chose betray, which is um, after Dio said he would pick ally. And Fi was prompted to, be to pick ally as well. But also not incredibly surprising. But... How the heck did we get betrayed? Alice must have been in the second AB room already. I didn't pay attention to see if it was open or not, if it was open or closed, but it means that within the minute that we had entered the AB room and not seen Alice waiting outside in the warehouse, she must have woken up because of the Excelivir and then made her way to the AB room. That's the only way I can think of. 
And now Sigma dies. <laughs> Unless, of course, we can magically find the uh, the Neo Stigmine. But I don't think that's going to happen. Wow, that's certainly a surprise. What? It wasn't possible. I blinked, rubbed my eyes, and looked again. No, that's... that's not possible. How can Alice's vote be betray? It was a question I would never know the answer to. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. First would be the anesthetic soparil. I blinked and my vision started to blur. When I tried to think, it felt like my mind had been stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble, then gave out entirely as I crumpled to the floor. Sigma! 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 Sigma. Sigma. Hang on! Oh no! Sigma! Get up! Sigma! No. Why? My eyelids felt like they were made of lead, but I forced them open. Everything was growing blurry, but I noticed that the door of the second AB room was open. No one had gone into that room. I'd watched them all, and yet there she stood, an apparition that couldn't possibly be real. Alice? What? So, yeah, she must have woken up and gone in within the minute before the AB game started, and then chose to betray us, knowing that we would pick Ally, because she knew that, well, we were under the impression that Alice would default to Ally. And in that moment, Alice takes advantage of the fact that we saved her life from Radical Six to betray us, kill the person who saves her life, and then escape? Oh, come on. The world was gradually going black, and my mouth refused to form words. But my head echoed with questions. How? Why? What was she doing there? Had she run in at the last moment after Luna and I entered our room? But even if she had, why choose Betray? Then the darkness closed over my mind as well, and my questions were gone forever. Wow. That's a very unexpected game over. Like, very unexpected. Pretty cool twist, obviously, but at the same time, dang, um, there's not a lot that makes, you know, a whole bunch of sense about it. That's a bad end, I guess. So, again, the game punishing us for choosing Ally, <laughs> right? Taking advantage of our, you know, of our goodwill and, uh, you know, kicking us when we're down. But... All right, I guess in the next episode, we will choose Betray and protect ourselves from Alice and find out just how that sequence of events even occurs. Uh, that's, wow. That's something. <laughs> the game sets you up to not want to betray the others and get to nine before everybody else and try to escape, right? And so naturally, you're going to pick Ally in that setting. But dang, it looks like Betray is actually the correct move. Going to show the power of being able to, you know, learn from the experiences of other timelines. Really power up Sigma as we play through the game. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one just as much as I did. But until the next episode, this has been 9-0, and this mission is complete.